Take the love bugs and smiles from back at you once more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm, I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And thank you so much for the support coming to see about my channel today. And if you have not, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification down at the bottom so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you resonate with my video, give me a thumbs up, like, and share. Do whatever you shall please as long as it's positive. And if you resonate with my video and want to drop a couple of lines and feel comfortable and want to tell me about your experience, please go ahead and feel free. I love to get the positive feedback. And thank you so much for the love and support and coming to see about my channel today. And for my returning subs, thank you so much, fam, for the love and support and coming back to see about me today. And love and light and namaste. Many blessings. Many blessings are yet to come for you. Today, my video is about Twin Flame 101. Are you one of those hate opens if you have a bad temper and you get cornered? Yes, I always wanted to know that. Because, I mean, we can be the most sweetest people, but man, do not piss us off. That is just one thing. If you've been with me on my journey for a while with me, you have known. You have seen me on my bad days. You have seen me on my hyper days. You have seen me on my cry because everything is so freaking beautiful day. Y'all y'all don't see me at so many different moments of emotions. Y'all probably got schizophrenic with me. I don't know. But, um... Yeah, it's just like we always go out of our way to help people, but then we gravitate, well, actually, negativity always gravitates towards us, and it's just like growing up, you know, it's just anybody, you get tested, you get tested every day, you know, it's just like me and my daughter was talking, and she's, you know, she's just like a little mini-me, but she's like my dad at the same time, so it's, you know, she's well reserved but if you make her mad oh my goodness it's that's that's it for, for that one she's like a little tasmanian devil so i guess she got that from her mom but um it's just like with us we we have so many different emotions already as it is but when it is like with me i don't know about you i'm just talking about an individual like me and i you know you may you know resonate with that I don't know. I just, you know, I ask you to go ahead and drop, drop down a couple lines if you feel like wanting to share. You feel comfortable with doing that, and it'll greatly be appreciated. But I'm just saying, it's just like, you know, when we go through so many different things. I remember I was working at this job where this one woman, like, she would talk to you like she's your child, and it's just like she might have been a couple of years older than me, but it wasn't that that much age age gap but it's just it's all about respect you know and it was just like with us the way I go about things you know uh I have a tendency to you know snatch people down in my reality I don't Jake I'm not using smackdown because that's kind of violent so I try not to use that I try not to use that I try not to use no smackdown but you know there's sometimes it happens that way and it's like Sometimes it's hard when people try their best because they're so miserable to bring you, bring that character out of you. And it's just like, I guess the lessons and blessings I know from growing up, I used to get into fights when I was younger, you know, get beat up, beat up on somebody, you know, because of my mouth and stuff like that. So I had to learn, you know, there's a time to speak and there's time to be quiet. There's time to listen and there's time when you need to speak up. And it's just, you know, with all this bullying and all this stuff, because, I mean, especially when you were doing a lot of, like, videos like mine, it's a shocking thing, you know, where I can talk to other YouTubers that, you know, do positive things, and when they come back and tell me, or I'm watching a video, and they're telling me they're getting bullied, or somebody have, you know, basically cussed them out just for a certain religion, or the way that they know stuff. And it's just, I mean, I've even got attacked. You know, somebody said, oh, I didn't pronounce Kaoka right. You're being fake because you're not, you know, you're not pronouncing this right. You know, I mean, it's just like people are all over the world watching my videos. It, it, you can, like Jake, prime example. You probably say potatoes and I say potatoes. He say tomatoes, I say tomatoes. You know, everybody pronounces things different. But we experience things different ways. But it's just with Kaoka's. We might have different tragedies, but one way or another, we have a lot in common. You know, we 
been through that heartbreak. We've been to that thing where, you know, <laughs> where we got pressed in a corner. And it's like with me, especially when you're an indigo, uh, twin flame, you're a white witch, you know, got all these mystical hats and you're already dealing with grief and stuff like this. And more and more stuff at that time was coming out. And this woman had cornered me and she had slapped me one time and it was like 10 people in the room. And everybody was just like, <gasps> and this woman was like seven foot two, like football player. So I'm just like a good two feet taller, to, I mean, shorter than her. So I'm like five foot two, same, same side as my dad. And so I'm just like, you know, I was glad she did that. You know, it was the day I didn't want to go to work. It was just one of those days she caught me on that day. But it was like, soon as I came in that room and it was just something that Jake had taught, you know, when he was talking about his story. When you just walked in the room, I already knew it was that day somebody was going to get the smack down. And I, I didn't know what it was, but it was like people were asking me stuff and I was very short and I wasn't trying to be. It was like, yes, no, oh, I'll get it. Mm -mm. I'm all right. I'm like, are you okay, my friend? At that time, you know, we had passcodes and it's just like, you know, you know, if you got co-workers and your good friends and things happen, you know, you have certain words that you say in front of people and certain things pop off. And it was just like, with her, you know, it's like, hey, you know, somebody getting on my nerves. It's just like, you know, we'll say little John, for example, or, you know, it's getting worse. It's like, you know, uh, LeBron James, LeBron James, we'll start bringing up little, you know, football players or basketball players or something like that. But it was a strength over me that scared the mess out of me. And that's something I wasn't really proud of, but it was just like she needed it that day. And it was just like everybody just kept talking about it for weeks at a time, talking about this one. The bully finally met their match, you know, and it had to be somebody that was so much smaller than them. And it's just a lot of people, they were always, you know, trying to feel like they were going to, um, like, uh, when they met me, it's like I'm really nice or I'm quiet, you know, until you really get to know me. And some people, when you're empath like that people take advantage of it so I'm just wondering have you ever been through a situation like that where somebody has really brought you out of your character to where it probably scared your soul to death like I heard my dad just it went from that 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 part in the movie from Purple Rain when Clarence Williams was beating up his uh, wife that was supposed to be playing my dad's mom. And he was like, stop, she heard you. And, you know, and I just kept hearing that in my head. Like, oh, I'm hearing my dad like, oh my God, stop, she heard you. And it was just like, 10 people had to pull me off of this chick. And they were just like, Rosalind, we thought you like turned into a demon on this woman or, you know, something like that. But it was just so, so freaking crazy. And it's like not to bring up anything negative because I've never pressed anything negative. I try not to ever press anything negative. But sometimes, you know, on certain content that I talk about, it might bring up something. So I'm not trying to trigger anything on anybody. But I know now, as from that situation, I know how to walk away from things. So that was the positive that brought out of that. Even though I could have really did some bodily in injury even though I really did it could have been a lot worse than what it was um but I'm glad it didn't get that way because you know if people weren't there she probably would have seriously got hurt and um it just told me it really made me feel bad at one one side a little side of me I'm you know I'm not gonna lie it just had me laughing a little bit but then the other side of me that actually had the, the empathic side of me didn't like that part because that's not me. That's not who I am. I'm the laughy, jokey person, you know, the class clown. And, you know, I'm just wondering if anybody else has actually had that work, you know, because with us, we we have a lot of magnetic forces when it comes to narcissistic people. So I know I have a bad problem sometimes with putting people in their places and it can be a little harsh so I try not to be that way even though some people they tell me I need to be harsh at times but I said it, it really doesn't get you anywhere you can get more bees with honey than vinegar so I try to you know if it comes to that point then okay that's fine but then if not you know whatever but I'm not trying to hold you up today I hope you enjoyed this video if you would please like and subscribe you can hit the notification bell so you know I'm about to upload my next video drop a comment a line or two feel great to be appreciated like i said i always love the positive feedback and stay stay blessed have a great weekend be responsible for everything you do and i will see you on my next video peace and be wild oh if i did not tell you the
the uh, link that I'm listening to for the meditation is Psychic Protection, the Aura Shield meditation music with Tibetan singing bowls. So if you would like to listen to that meditation, which is really good because I've listened to it before, um, except I have ringing in my ears a little bit for a while, but you no, know, other than that, I felt really clear when it came to my chakras. So if you would like that, you no, know, go ahead and listen in the link down below. And much love to you. Peace and be wild.